Hey, you're alive. You say that with no confidence whatsoever. We have no idea that they're there. Hello, lovely people. Hello, lovely people. I'm Cash. She's Debbie. And I'm Debbie. She's Debbie. And we Wait. help people find their truth, allegedly. I can't figure it out. It's that way. It's easy. Um, and uh, <laughs> uh, what we're going to do tonight uh, on this show is... What, I'm what are we going to do tonight? <laughs> I'm going to do somebody's handwriting. Debbie is going to do that the the life thing. Uh, we were going to have two people tonight. We've only got one, but we're going to have two people that we did tonight. But one woman, very what is really weird. What happened was that she was trying to send me her stuff. She was a lovely woman. She's called Kathleen. She was going to send me her stuff, right. and she couldn't get anything to work. She oh, couldn't wow. couldn't contact us on Facebook. She tried to send the things to the email address I gave it. She it wouldn't go through. And I said, look, I think this is weird. It's never happened before. Maybe the universe is telling you, because I'm a great believer in signs and stuff. Maybe yeah. the universe is telling you uh, to maybe contact Debbie separately and privately. Oh, well, how nice. Rather than do it on the show. And maybe it shouldn't be public. And she agreed. And so I think <laughs> she's going to So we're down to one. See, I do that energetically, really. I'm oh, sure. You just want the you just want the money, but yeah. no, no, no. But she, she really, she has a problem, and she wants to talk to somebody. But I didn't think it should be public, basically. And the universe okay. agreed with me. So what we're going to do? We're going to do one person. I have a little chat, and then we're going to do one person uh, called Jennifer. And then at some point in the show, don't do it now. It's not now, so don't start now. Debbie is going to answer some lovely questions. One question each, specific questions. Right, and I won't be able to get everybody's questions, so don't get upset. About your life. So it's going to come up on the phone, hopefully. If this works properly, it's going to come up on the phone, which is here. And I'm going to read them out to Debbie later on the show. So don't ask now, because there's no <laughs> point. I'll be ignoring you. Uh, but hello, like anybody. ignore people, too. Uh, yeah, so shall I just see if we're actually on? Would that help you? Yes. Oh, well, I'll refresh the page. Refresh, refresh the page. Refresh the page. This is the technical uh, boring part to make sure it actually works. No, but it's like, you know, that when you were talking about signs, I was like, I heard that old song. Signs, signs everywhere, sign. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it on Facebook, by the way. You don't? No. We're not on Facebook. I think Roy Toy said that we were on Facebook. Well, we're all, we're certainly live on Facebook, but I don't see anything here. Oh, nobody's saying anything. Have you got it on on uh, for everybody? Or have you just got it on us? Oh, <gasps> let's see. If you see us, please. Have you got it on the world and everybody, or have you just got it on? No, you? I'm seeing us on Facebook. See. Oh, well, there we go. Was that the old one? No, that's a new one. We got 11 comments already. Oh, really? Okay. We've only been on it for three minutes. Well, I'm, oh, the, I'm the one who has to find it on Facebook, and I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, talk amongst yourself, Debbie. Oh, no, I've got a question to ask you. I've got a question to ask you. Because, uh, you know, I was looking at your... Um, your prediction video. My Debbie's prediction. prediction video. If you haven't seen it, it's fabulous. Not only is the background fabulous, but she's fabulous too. And uh, you did a great job on that, by the way. Thank it you. was really, really good. And uh, although three quarters of it was about the weather, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. Well, but it, you got tons of people that went to see it. You're about 2,000 people or something. Really? Yeah, something like that, I think. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Oh, it was Fantastic. huge. Fantastic. Really huge. But I, you see, there were times when you went really, really vague about something, and I really wanted to know the answer. For example, uh -oh. you know, you were going, well, uh, yeah, this year's going to be okay, then 2020. But what about the stock market? The stock market today is like, it's up like the highest it's ever been in the history of the stock market. It's like 26,000 and something. It's got to fall down at some time. It's got to plummet. So when is that going to happen? But see, I don't see it doing the plummet plummet until the end of um, 2019, going into 2020. I thought I said that in the prediction, but I'm... Um, well, yeah, but it seems uncanny and incredible and unbelievable that it's going to go on for another two years, this. Well, no, it's not going to be a continuous going up. It will go down. I'm saying that it will have a major fall. It will go boom at, at the end of 2019 or 2020. So we should stay invested. Um, I'd stay invested until, and then they're showing me again, I don't know with the September thing, but uh, September, I'm seeing it going down. I, um, and then 2019, I see it going up and then I see it going down again. So the investment um, in what 
because I don't invest in it. No, I'm not okay, in no, this. No, so. stop. Okay. But the point is that, that there's a woman. Have you heard of Pe Penny Thornton? No. Penny Thornton is an astrologer in Britain, and she's actually pretty damn accurate. I think she used to be Princess Diana's. Um, oh, husband. yeah, I think, yeah. Maybe I don't think she predicted that, that. she'd die, though. <laughs> anyway, so, um, but she was, she's actually pretty brilliant. And she said that in 2019, that this year was going to be fun, it's going to be great, we should all have a good time. But then come 2019, something's going to happen, possibly to Trump himself, like physically, something's going to happen, a heart attack or assassination attempt or something. And from that point onwards, everything would start slithering because it would be turmoil for America. Now, what's odd about that is, astrologically, that's what she says. Psychically, you say the opposite. No, I said 2019, the end of 2019. Yeah, but she says January 2019. Yeah, I don't see that as... as she says she was going to be a terrible thing. No, I, I don't see... I could see it going down, but then, then it going up again, and, and, and then, but the end of 2019, 2020. But... Do you think that's true of the world, though? Do you think we're going to go through a pretty bad time? Is that how you feel that? No, I think what we're going through as the world is, the, that's why I was talking about the weather so much, is that's the turmoil, if you want to call it turmoil, because there's reasons for everything that happens on. But um, I feel like the weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, all that stuff is what's going to be but if you read Go the on. newspapers, I don't actually read the news very much. I avoid it. But I, I know that there's a lot of, been a lot of talk uh, of nuclear war and there's no. been avoid no. and missiles no. hitting California and Hawaii and all. This. No, no, no. So you're, so you're going to stay in Oxnard? You betcha, baby. And I mean, you're, you're closer <laughs> to the ocean. Oh, no. I, I have I, a house I, right on the coast. And by the way, give me Leo DiCaprio's full name. I don't know how to say it right. <laughs> you, you couldn't spell the, either. He couldn't say either him or the name of his girlfriend. What was his girlfriend's name? Camilla. Camilla. What did like I say? Camilla, which is a kind of flower, I think. Oh well, hey, I'll take Camilla. <laughs> Camilla. But anyway, so uh, so you think we're going to have a good time? Do you? you think we're actually in golden a golden age? I think we're. Well, I don't know if we're about like the golden age. I'd love to be in the golden age. Because, you know, before the Victorian time, I love it. But, um, no, I feel like this is the year for a lot of people, us included, is where things are building up in, in uh, businesses. I think a lot of people are releasing and, uh, and connecting together. It's a number two year. I'm not into the numbers, so don't text me and say I'm wrong. But I just feel that a lot of truth is going to be shown this year. A lot of truth is going to be shown this year. I mean, in our private lives or just in... Private or, lives uh, and in everything. the world. Wow. Private lives and in the world. I think a lot of... You're going to start seeing people say like you're in a bad relationship. You're going to see it. If you're in a good relationship, you're going to see if you're taking advantage of them or you're not taking advantage of them. Work, it's going to be the same way. The vibration that is in this year, there's telling me 2018 to 2019 is um, the year of seeing the truth of things, seeing mirroring things are going to be mirrored to you. So like if you don't acknowledge your, a good relationship, it's going to be, it's, it's going to hit you back. A right. lot of karma this year. What's really interesting is that um, you, if, if you're watching this and you actually think about your own life or what, what's going to happen or you've got questions, Contact Debbie on psychicdebbie.com. And I say this with full throttle enthusiasm because just before I came on here, I had a reading, a psychic reading with somebody else. Somebody else. Do you believe those people? And it's like a betrayal. And I thought, I thought, you know what I thought? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Be accurate because I'm going to ask somebody else the same questions I asked her during a reading I had with her, right, with this woman, and I'll see if the, the answers match. And they were exact. The other woman, who I know is, is really good too, said exactly the same thing about my life and whatever. And I thought, well, this, if, she's, if, I, if she gets the same answer and she's brilliant, then Debbie must be brilliant too. So if you've got a question for Debbie, psychicdebbie.com. And she got tons. Well, tell us, about, tell us about your YouTube videos before we do, before we do our reading. Well, I got YouTube well, I got videos YouTube. on psychicdebbie.com. Not psychicdebbie.com. On Psychic Debbie Griggs, put the name together. And uh, and my Instagram, please go on my Instagram. I got a lot of like quotes and 
metaphoric ways of looking at life. I just did a deja vu video and a lot of people liked it. I saw that. In fact, I saw that before and I was watching it. I felt like I'd watched it before, but I hadn't. But yeah. Know, the, the thing, but I don't know whether you, do you understand? I don't know whether you actually fully understand what deja vu mm -hmm. is though. I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Yeah. You know are we talking about the same thing? You know, when you walk into a place and you go, I've been here before. Yes. That's what you mean by deja vu, right? Yes. Oh, it's not. So you're not talking about when you get, you sort of think, oh, you have an inspiration about something. or No, deja vu. Like I said, go to my YouTube channel. It's on yeah, Facebook. Watch, watch so. the video. It's really interesting. It's very interesting. It's, it's, uh, it's getting conversations going on. I love it. But no, deja vu is, uh, like I said, with Hannah Banana, she was like, connecting with this woman for work and she's like oh my god and I go oh my god you're on the right path deja vu is telling you you're on your right path but everybody always thinks uh deja vu is I lived this in another lifetime and I'm like yes but who says you're not living it in this lifetime past lifetime or a future lifetime because there is no time we're living numerous of layers I've well, only got your word for that. <laughs> I've only got your word for the fact there's no time. This seems like time to me, Debbie. There is no time. We well, created we created time so that we could connect at the same dimension, space, water, sound, feeling, blah, 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 blah. So we condensed it together to say, let's create time. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Alec Rosandra. And hello, Yeah, Amy. let me see if I'm seeing people. Um, Tracy, well, I, I was in an Uber Randy. yesterday. And the drive, I was in an Uber and the driver was trying to persuade me that aliens invented the iPhone. <laughs> so, if I don't believe him, why should I believe you really? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't believe me. Well, I don't care if you don't believe me, but that's the truth. That's, I, that was downloaded to me many, many, many years ago. Many oh, years. Oh, really? Well, look, I've got my intention water again this week. Oh, and for anybody who, just uh, incidentally, for anybody who tuned in, <laughs> so, of course you all tuned in just to see my nails. Here are my nails. And, and you didn't paint them. I had, the, I had my nails painted on Saturday. And because I'm not like a chick, right? And because I know nothing about having your nails painted, um, I had gel. I bought gel. And it <laughs> was dry. That's and hard. I have to put that in a machine to make it work. And so it, I put it put on, it looked fantastic. And then it all came off again on my hands. And I tried to get my wallet out of my jeans and put gel thing all over my jeans. And so I, I had them taken off and I'm going to do it again this Saturday, uh, just with proper things. I just You're just going to do enough. the gel? You're just going to do the normal? Yeah, yeah whatever the thing is. I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, I just don't know anything about this. <laughs> so, but I'm having it done and next week my fingers will be, um, what, what's the thing? Bullet, not bullet. Polished. Yeah, no, um, no. it's um, gunmetal gray. Oh, gunmetal gun gray. All right, I think so, you should do red. I think you should do like a, like a red, like my shirt or my lipstick. Hi, Dina. No, no, it'll be, it'll be, hi, Dina. It'll be like, um, that's a girly thing. This isn't a girly thing. I'm doing it for, because that's what the kids are doing nowadays. Are uh, they? Uh, so, what, what is the thing with people having their nail polished and then one nail polishes a different color? What is that supposed to represent? I don't think it probably, maybe it doesn't represent something, but it might just be what the kids are doing because, you know, kids are crazy. Um, and no, so I, I went around for an entire day, an entire week with, with one fingernail done and nobody noticed. Nobody. Nobody saw that it was done. And so I thought, well, I could do that more. Nobody will care. Nobody cares. It's LA. Nobody cares. Anyway, so. Care. Let, they're going to let you be who you are. That's what's fantastic. Exactly. <laughs> So, so Nina, Jody, on. Jody's on. Hi, Jody. And I, I, how do you say her name? El. Ale Cassandra. What is we it? Did Al Cassandra's uh, handwriting at some point on her. Uh, yeah. Feature. And Brenda. Um, and Amy. And, uh, Brenda says hot pink. No, Brenda, it's not a girly thing. <laughs> anyway, can and we just Elena, move on with the people. with the person now? And here Jasmine and Elena and Brandy and Tracy. Look who's here. Mary. Hey, Caroline. <laughs> Debbie, look who's here. It's Hi. Jennifer. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, go and sit over there. There she goes. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's Jennifer. Her question, in case you need to consider this. So well, I got to look at her picture again because I wasn't looking. Okay, here she comes. Uh, just, Jennifer, just come back over here. Okay. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, she's oh, cute. She kind of reminds me of an actress. God, what's her name? 
She re- she reminds me of an actress. Okay. Uh, so well, that's that one goes off. But uh, but she's she's um she I think she's lovely, and and I, I I think her handwriting says she's lovely, so I trust her completely. So what we're going to do? This is this is Jennifer. She lives in the South. That's right. That's what I know from her. She lives in the South. In the her, South. Okay. Yeah, and she's a, attending school to be a mortician. Uh, once she's done, she's going to move to Savannah, Georgia, she said. And she'd like to know about the viability of that. Will it happen? When will it happen? Is there a, uh, is, is there a need for a mortician? Do, does anybody die in Georgia? I have no idea. Um, I've been to Savannah. Maybe. <laughs> I went to Savannah and I filmed my show there. And I, I, it's my favorite. Of all the places that I went to while I was filming my show, Savannah, Georgia was my favorite place. I thought it was Really? Happy. Even yeah. better than New Zealand? Well, New Zealand's got its main points, but it's honestly, uh, Savannah's That's lovely. Easy. It suits my temperament. Anyway, so here's uh, what we're going to do. I'm going to do a handwriting. And Ivy, and Pamela, and Ryan. Yeah, play attention, please. Um, uh, here's her handwriting. Hello, Donna. Donna. Oh, she's got nice. She's got some pretty nice handwriting there. She's got some lovely handwriting. And here's the thing about her. Where's, where's, what did I say about her? Um, she basically, oh, but this is what's so interesting about you her. Ask, you didn't tell me the questions. I did. You weren't paying attention. You were looking at, I read you the whole thing. Donna Savannah is fantastic. No, you, you weren't paying attention at all. Anyway, so here we go. This is, this is Jennifer. Um, I'll give you the question again in a second. Okay. Uh, she is actually quite strict on herself. This is what's so interesting about it. She, she likes to do the right thing, but she does it almost like compulsively. She, she's conscientious. She's cautious. She's very strict slow to jump in and very slow to let anybody down i suspect i mean she'd probably be a good mortician because she's going to do a really really good job um i i keep looking at people like this and going pa go on be stop being punctual be late don't do things well defy things you know just do something wild but she's just very wise and t- stable and dependable which is i guess is what you want as a as a mortician well yeah and the thing is though but She's been brought up in a certain way, I think, and can't let go of that. And that's fine, you know, if it suits your lifestyle, that's fine. But I wonder whether it compromises her authenticity a little. Um, If you're living by somebody else's rules, boundaries, or whatever, it's hard to establish boundaries and rules of your own or even your own identity. You'll question it because you'll see it through the lens or the filter of somebody else's judgment or appraisal or whatever it is. And I think that's actually could happen here. And I think a relationship with her could feel, a partner could feel like, well, there's me, there's her. And then there's this other person, which could be a parent. It could be somebody else, just somebody who's got a say in how she, the standards she brings to her life. But I don't think she needs that. She doesn't need that in her life. Oh, I don't, I agree. She doesn't know that. And I think that she could be, um, it's almost like she's stifling a part of herself in order to comply with all the rules she's been given. And she, you know, I said it before, I think on a previous show that it's like swimming. You can't swim if you won't let go of the sides of the pool. Right. But I don't see her doing that though. What? Holding on to the side of the pool. <laughs> well, we're not talking literally swimming. Dave. I know, I but I'm just what? saying, I, I, I just, just think she runs back to the rules that were established when she was in youth. And, and, and lives by those. And she could be a little wilder, I think. She's intelligent, she's curious, she's very switched on, a bit stubborn. She knuckles down when things are like, she doesn't want to do something. <clears throat> I don't do it. Uh, but it becomes almost like contemplative. Because she kind of knows what she knows and she doesn't want to budge otherwise. But she's fun, a good laugh. She's the kind of person you're going to say, oh, I'd like to go drinking with her. Uh, I'd like no, to go drinking drink. with you. <laughs> um, she probably doesn't drink. Although she feels, yeah. she actually, you know what's the source of her annoyance? It's because she's so good at what she does and she really applies herself because she cares how she's perceived by other people that when other people fail to do that, when they let her down, when they say the wrong thing, when they don't show a kind of integrity or finesse or whatever, it really annoys her. And uh, because she, she's quite a force and she's good to be close to, demonstrative and so on, very feminine kind. But if you cross her, she gets really annoyed. And defensive and, and so on. But uh, I think my view is, and this is my last word on it, my view is, hey, Terry, uh, my view, and hi, Irene, my view is that um, she could afford to be her own person more and say, what do 
what rules do I want in my life? And can I afford to let go of the way I was trained to be or conditioned? Yeah, I don't to see that at all. <laughs> well, you've no idea what you're talking about. So, do, um, uh, Jennifer, I'm right. Let's skip Debbie's bit. No, I see her completely the opposite. But that's all right. Put her picture back up again and ask me. The and you question. know, she's, she's going to write as they always do and go, well, Cash is right. I don't know what Debbie was talking yeah, about. Yeah, they never do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the question. This okay. time, please pay attention. I'll try. Att right, no, right. Uh, yes, hi, Terry. Um, uh, attending, she's attending school to be a mortician. Okay. Right? You know what that is? Yes. It's a deaf person, right? Right. Uh, once she's done, she's going to move to Savannah, Georgia. She wants okay. to. Should, she'd like to know about the viability of that. Should she go? Will it happen? When will it happen? Is there a demand for morticians in Georgia, I guess? And so on. Okay, to Savannah. Hi, Alec Rosandra. Oh, yeah, shit. funny. Thank you, Alexander. Okay, so, so when, I, when I saw her picture uh, and when you were yakking away. <laughs> telling the truth is what no, you're No, no, no. Okay. Oh, that's um, she? I heard that she is like an animal. Isn't she? The, she's cute. Um, she, gosh, she reminds me of this actor, and I can't think of their name. Um, this actress. Um, what I've seen is she's got the personality, she's like an animal, and she's got the personality of a cat. <laughs> and so you know how cats, when they want to do something, they'll do it their own way. But if it's kind of like, oh, if I give you a treat, yeah, maybe I'll go that way. And she doesn't need to have people's, I feel that she doesn't need to have other people's opinion on her or uh, what they're thinking. She might look at it and go, okay, but... I'm a cat. I'm going to do my own thing. And that's why I think this, this business that she's working for or that she's doing is perfect for her. Perfect. I think this is a fantastic job for her. And I think if, if she is, even if she's working with the body or even if she was working with the people that are alive, I think this is a fantastic job for her. I think it's a um, massive dynamic. If she didn't go to Savannah, Georgia, then she would have to, they're showing me some other states that she could go to. It would be the top of Florida or Tennessee. But they're showing me that going to Savannah, Georgia, they would have an understanding of her and that wherever she gets placed, this work, yes. Will she be good at it? Yes. Will it work out for her? Yes. So let's put that aside. So. There, when, what Spirit is saying is, yes, you can go to Savannah, Georgia, but you can go to other states also. But when will this happen? She wants to know if it was like it's going to happen a certain time. So we're in 2018. Um, and she's going to school right now for it, right? Yeah. But we don't know how far along she is. But that's okay. Um, I feel like the movement, she's going to have a movement. She's going to feel... Like she needs to move around May, but I don't think that she should move around May. I can't tell her what to do, but um, no, nope, I'm not going to tell her what to do. I'll just tell her what spirit is showing me that any she can choose. So I feel like she's going to have this thing going on in May. And I don't know if that's when she's done with school or whatever, but there's a shift for her in May. And then in um, August, September, I'm seeing it was a good time for her to go to move and but they're telling me that she would have to move by October if she does not move by October to stay where she's at and not move until the following spring of 2019 and then it would be March or May okay all righty uh, Marsha says I think she looks like Margot Martindale maybe that's who it is I have no idea who that is who's yeah. Margot Martindale real, real cute gal the cheeks and, and the smile she? she had the same smile who is she She's an actress. I, I don't know what. Think, Where would I have seen her? Think of what show she's in. Uh, Marsha, what show she is? Is Margot Martindale on? Or if anybody else got a question or answer to question, Le <laughs> I'm so used to doing questions. Lisa says, uh, uh, "I'm gonna." She, Lisa has a question. I don't know if this is actually a real question for you or just a question she has. Uh, how will I do as a death doula? We'll be. We'll come back to that in a second. But what's, what's a death a doula? Do D O U L A. What's I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's crazy. He would have uh, to ask me what that is. And so, so is that someone helping with the spirits of people or what? 
But here's the thing, yeah. though. Let me get back to me for a second. Oh, do we have to? Well, <laughs> so, well I just want to prove I'm right. How does anything you have just said, please pay attention, how is anything you've just said in any way proof that what I said was wrong? I didn't say you were wrong. Yes, you, you kind of implied that it was absolutely, you didn't agree with any of it. And therefore, no, I just I, said I see her in a different light than you do. Yeah, but I'm right, though, right? <laughs> oh, I don't see it that way. Oh, good God. <laughs> Look, my notes are actually typed. That's how it's. Oh, my goodness, you typed your uh, notes? That's a it's, good, it's good job, Dash. <laughs> Um, oh, thank you, Lisa. I will, um, I will come back to your question in a minute. That's a question for Debbie, which we'll get back to in a second, all right? Okay. Lisa, stick with that. I'm going to ask you. Um, but I just... I feel like it's a spiritual thing or whatever. Yeah, but here's the, the, here's the thing. That, yeah, it kind of is, I think. But what the, here's the thing. That she is... There are many, many people, though you come across them as well, where they are... I'm going to use the word compromise, but it sounds really, really hefty that I don't really mean that, but they're compromising their identity. I don't see you're doing that. Oh, be quiet. I'm talking. <laughs> uh, they're compromising their identity in order to please somebody else because you are never, you're not naturally this dedicated to doing the right thing. You have to be taught that you have to get it from. No, somebody. you don't. Oh my God, Debbie. Don't make me walk out of this broadcast. Uh, so, so basically, she... walk out. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, hi, Laurie. Um, and so, uh, so basically, what we're saying is that she is. You are saying. I'm lumping you in with this because I think you agree with me, but you're just too proud to say so. No. Uh, I think she causes her to be more self-questioning, more insecure sometimes. Um, then she would, uh, then she really would be. She feels she knows the way to go, but I think she has to process everything through a prism of other people's expectations. I don't. I really, really don't, and I don't think she does. There must be I think she's like a cat to switch off Debbie's camera. Where is? <laughs> because we do not need to hear that. Uh, uh, yes, Amy we do. I think she's like a cat. She might hear you. But you know how when you call a cat and they're like, like Miss Alien, my cat, and she's not in the room. But Miss Alien, Miss Alien, Miss Alien, I'll listen to you when I want to listen to you. Yes, I know. Well, That's my name and I'm gorgeous and I'll come to you when I want to. Well, you're a bit like that. She doesn't so. need people's, no. I, I feel Amy like with, says, with this work, I don't Amy think she says, I disagree. We are born wanting to do the right thing. We are taught not For to. For ourselves. That's very interesting. You think that, that's true? Are we bought? Uh, you mean we're like sort of blank sheets of paper, really, and anybody can write on us? Well, this is my point, though. This is my point. So she was born as a blank sheet of paper, and somebody has taught her a way to behave, right? No, you teach yourself. Oh. No. No, 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 Everything that happens to you, you are taught to behave in a certain way. You're given rules when you're a kid. This is why you guide children. You're guided, you're guided, you're taught, you're, you're, you're. But that's not your truth. By parents. And what, what they can do is they can steer you away from what is, what is actually best for you on your soul's path. And you get this kind of mortal framework of rules and, and principles and stuff that were handed down to you. And if, if you are if in search of your own identity, you often have to depart from those hand-me-down rules exactly, so that you can be your truth. true self. And what I feel has happened here, and I know Jennifer will agree with me, she is won't. that she has taken on these things from her, from her background. That's not on you. I'm not saying the craziest thing here. I'm not saying that you are saying the craziest thing, but I just don't see her in that light. I feel like she really knows. She, they might... She might, it see, might betray that, but that, I don't think that's what's going inside of her. I, I really don't. I think she, she knows what she wants to do, go into the space. She wants to be there already. She wants to be there already. She wants to be in Savannah already and doing this work. And she, that's, that's the truth of what she is. any of that. That's fine. Right. But you were saying that she was listening to other people's perception of her. To mold her. It matters to her how she's perceived by others. And she tries extra hard to please them. And see, and I don't see that. Well, you're wrong. Uh, Amy goes, <laughs> uh -huh, sorry, I agree People, with Debbie. Are you complaining or don't not? Don't make me unfriend you, Amy. Don't 
be unfriended. You're, per, you're precipitously close to being unfriended. Um, uh, but Brenda says, says she agrees with me. At least I got one person. Brenda, Brenda says your parent can guide you, but in the long run, it is up to you to make it all come together. Yes, Brenda. See, see Brenda's yeah. saying that no, what I'm saying. I agree totally with all of them. I'm just saying that a lot of people can be steered wrong by the parent. But I don't think she's and, being steered wrong. Well, not wrong. She's no Jennifer isn't being steered wrong, but she's got she's been conditioned to behave in a certain way. No, um, see, I don't see that. It doesn't matter. I'm right. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> um, by the way, I think um, she's more powerful and independent and self-assured, and than people let on. Barbara, because, can I say something? Because she's Barbara, introverted. I'll come back to your question in a second, Barbara. You, Barbara's got a question for you. I'm, I'm just telling Barbara. Barbara, we'll come back. This isn't the question and answer part. We'll deal Not with that quite yet. We'll answer your question. I'll scroll up and find your question. So go on. So start again. So so. So I feel like she's in the space that she's already, uh, just because I think she's in the power of who she is and the confidence of who she is. And I don't think she needs any other input. I really don't think, I really don't think that. I feel like she's very intellectual. She's very yeah, into her mind very bright, sure. and very bright just because she can be introverted. People are going, Oh, she can be manipulated. It's kind of like this way they're showing it to me is, where people will go up to Roy, my husband, Roy, Roy, Roy. Um, and they'll say, oh, I bet you she tells you what to do all the time. And he's like, no, she doesn't. How can we tell everybody else what to do? That, that I do. But then we don't. <laughs> you <laughs> well, go, I do not tell you what to do. And then you just go and tell them what to do. But, or, or people will say, or people will come up to me and, or even him and say, I've even had friends that knew me for years and say, oh, she's an extrovert. And Roy's like, they don't know her, don't know you, do they? And I'm like, no, because I'm very introverted. I'm a very introverted person. Are you confusing introverted with grumpy? I'm confusing introvert to being gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, <laughs> um. Uh, but anyway, well, obviously we have to agree to disagree on this, although not really. No, I, I don't have to agree with you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. I got, given that I'm... So dead on the money here. Yeah. I can't believe. I, I, just, the money. I just think you're talking about a completely different set of things. That's all. That's no, all I, I don't think we are, but. <laughs> <laughs> this may be the last, this is the last broadcast we ever do. Um, I'm going to drink. Why? Because I'm not agreeing with you? Well, because you're wrong and you can't admit it. No, you're wrong and you can't admit it. I could do the same thing. <laughs> Anyway, it the this, same is getting, thing. this is getting boring. The, we'll let the jury is out. We'll let the audience make up their own minds. But obviously, they're going to agree with me. So, uh, <laughs> so now okay. we're going to do questions from people, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm going to scroll up. Uh, first of all, let me just do Barbara. Barbara says, uh, I hope you're listening, Barbara. Uh, Barbara said, oh, somebody said you're both right. No, I'm right. Uh, Barbara says, I'm having a problem with my neighbor. Am I ending up in court over the problem? Ooh. I'm, I'm seeing it could be a small claims court. Do you know what I mean? But I'm seeing that she's going to have to do action. It's not going to stop. Let me look again. Oh, shoot. Because I see a boundary line. I don't know if it's about boundary line and... Yeah, I, I'm. I'm seeing. It's not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna dissolve. Sorry. Uh, uh, Lisa, you remember Lisa? And I was saying about the uh, the thing about she goes. Where is this thing about the death duel or death? Something? Yeah, the death duel. Apparently, uh, how will I do as a Lisa says? How will I do as a death doula or dowel okay. or whatever it is? And she she clarified and she said she helps people with passing. Oh, so it was the spirit thing that I was saying. Okay. Well, is it spiritual or is it just physically like uh, hospice care or something? Neither one. It's, I think if people are helping people with hospice, you're helping them with their spiritual, you know, I, I, I see it as the same thing. So what do you think? Lisa says, how will I do as a... I think she would do fantastic. I think she would do fantastic. Why do you say I think she's another individual person. It's funny how people resonating tonight are the same as what I see like a cop. No, um, I'm seeing her being very individual too, that she can travel and do things on her own. And I feel like she will do it in a different pattern than other people. 
Really? How interesting. Uh, hi, Joanne. Joanne came on a bit late, she says, and hi, she Joanne. apologizes. Hi, Barbara. Oh, um, hi, Terry. Now, this is a very long one from Alexandra, and we dealt with Alexandra last year. Yeah, uh, we should during season one of the show. <laughs> um, and I can't remember now exactly what we said. So I'm just going to read out her question and, um, and see what she said, all right? She goes, I had a positive DNA. Maybe, I think you may have done a reading with her, maybe. I had a positive DNA match with my mom or with a mother, with a mother. Will she give up her secret? I thought about contacting Debbie. 50 years is a long time to give up a secret. Also, I came back so English. Does that make any sense to you? I think the secret is is that the mom probably didn't tell people that she that she was had a child. So she says, "Will she give up her secret?" Will she give up her secret? Um, this is a very confusing. Question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to ask some get some other people too. But I'm seeing half and half. <laughs> it's like. If that is the, if that's the thing, it's like only certain people will, will she let know, but not everyone will know her secret. No. So she's asking, see, the Just spirit is very, very, excuse my language, anal. She didn't that's ask it. Awesome. She's not asking it in the full extent. She, she's like, will she give up her secret? She will give up her secret to certain people, but not to the whole world. Okay. So two clarifications. Uh, Barbara says, I am listening. My, uh, is he my neighbor? Is he my neighbor going to take the action? I won't do it. Remember you said it was about boundaries or something? Yeah. She's not going to sue. Will he sue? He's, uh, I feel like there's going to be action being taken. Whoever takes it. So she's not going to do it, so it must be him. Don't yeah. Her. Um, and I feel like uh, she well, should, I think she should step up and and be protected because of the action because i feel like there's a lot of lies coming in do you know what i'm saying we've got another lisa on the line hi lisa okay hi Hello. lisa uh, so the, the other lisa the one about the passing thing says it's more than hospice care helping create a legacy to leave to family and community see what i just Thank say you. i said she was going to do a different pattern than most people hello mcfly so what you're saying yes yeah <laughs> I said yes, uh, and I said she was going to do it different than other people, and that's what she's doing. Brenda says, I've been feeling off lately. How can I get back on track? Okay, well, that that's ridiculous. going on with a lot of people. So the vibration of, um, like I said, this 2018 is a lot of releasing, a lot of bringing in, a lot of really seeing things for the way they are, and that's what I meant by that when I was doing predictions and things like that. So her being off, let me see. Um, Cause I feel like her being off is someone else's story, someone else's vibration that's around her, not her. I think she needs to get connected to herself, get grounded, um, get in her space. Do you know what I mean? It's going for a walk. Um, doing whatever you, if you like to do art, do art. I think she needs to connect to herself again, and then she won't feel so off. I feel like she's way out of balance. It's been kind of weird. It's, it's a very weird time for some reason. Um, Amy's, uh, Amy says, where will my advocacy work and writing for brain injury take me? My okay, advocacy okay, you work and you... writing for brain injury. What was the first part of that question? I'm sorry, I didn't Where hear. Where will my advocacy work? And right, maybe she, maybe she is an advocate for victims of brain injury or something. Okay, where so that, where will it go? And will she write about it? Is that what she said? She says, "I'm writing." And it's, I, Amy, that's a very confusing question. I'm sorry. Where will my? It says. I'll repeat it again. Where will my advocacy work and writing for brain injury take me? Well. It, it, Okay. She needs to... Uh, Can you get a fix on that? I mean, it's very vague. No, I got it. I got it. Oh, okay. So she needs to push on this by the fall of this year. If she does not push on this, just keep on pushing. Just go... Da -da 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 -da. Keep on doing it. Don't, don't do that very long vacation. I'm sorry, but I, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that she has to go da 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 because the soapbox is going to be created for her, and then she can go 
way out and then she will be discovered and heard and so all the discovery that she wants all the people noticing her is not this year this year is creating the soapbox to stand on so then people will see her and that will be 2019 Okay, Dina, uh, hi Dina, you need to um, give us more details about what career you're in. She says what well, career will bring for me for 2018. Uh, we need yeah, what no, career. that's too vague. That's too vague. But, but write it down, you know, and I'll ask Debbie. Uh, Donna says, I also, spend time, I also spend time with elderly Alzheimer clients. I love it. It's beautiful to be with these souls. Yeah. Um, Lauren says, will I find the lawyer I need to help me? Who's this now? Lori, L-O-R-I. We've actually dealt with her. We dealt with her last week. She was one of our people last week. Okay. Will I find the lawyer I need? Did you ask that question last week, Lori? Yeah, I think she will, but I think it needs to be male, and I feel like it needs to have a... Um, he can be older. You know, he can be 40s or 50s, but he has to have a younger outlook on life. I feel like he has to know the new laws and the new things that are going on. Well, it would be true of any lawyer, though, really. No, but I'm, um, no, no, that's not true. Because <laughs> oh. I have done, with people, I've done readings, and I'll be like, your lawyer is this older person that doesn't, um, doesn't go to classes, doesn't keep up with what's coming up, the new laws. It's kind of like a tax person, right? And so I'm seeing that she could have picked someone that was an older gentleman with a gray hair. I'm even seeing him, what he looks like, not to pick that person. Needs to pick the, uh, the salt and pepper dark haired guy. A friend of mine actually recommended his dentist when I needed a dentist when I first came to LA. And so I thought, oh, great, I've got a dentist. So I go to see this guy, and he's like 109. And he's got <laughs> his glasses are like the side, they're like they eat about four inches thick. And he, he goes, hello, Mr. Peters, hi. And he walks into his tray of implements and drops them all over the floor. And I ran out of the office. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kept up with the times. Anyway, so um, Joanne says, I'm having a hard time trusting my boss at work. Will I be able to quit this job? Will my crafting and or camper business take off? Well, I'm seeing that she's going to have to ride the two horses for a while. Oh. And because she's not allowing the space of the security of her business, she's not allowing it to be She's questioning her business too often. If she would just let it flow and let it come to her and receive it, then I could see her quitting sooner. But she's, she's not in that space right everything. now. Is that, what? Is that what it, is, do you think she's overthinking everything? Is that what yeah. the problem is? Well, she, the security. So if she can say that she's safe all the time to allow this business to flourish, it, I mean, I can see the business being very, very successful. Mm -hmm. if that's what she's asking. Yes. But right now, I'm seeing she's, the spirit showing me, and they always show me paths, different paths. And it's like where the person, and they'll place the person in these paths, okay? And so, and then, and then they'll show me kind of where they want to be. So they're showing me this path or this path for her. And they're showing me like five paths. But she's in the path of a fear, worry, and doubt here. It's, it's like she keeps on going back and forth. Sometimes she gets really confident. It's like, okay, I got this. I can handle this. I know I'm good at it, which she is. And then she questions it because she's allowing the work, the boss vibration interfere with this vibration of her business. Oh, okay. She's not separating it. Uh, Dawn doesn't have a question. She just says, I'm an artist photographer and lost my ability to see and create anymore. So maybe she went blind. She went blind, maybe? Is it Dawn, did you go blind? Is that the, the thing? But, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm an artist photographer and lost my ability to see. But I'm seeing that she could still be this artist, even through the hearing, feeling, sensing, because those are going to get stronger. So it's kind of maybe like if I... Wrong idea, though. Maybe we've got the wrong end of the stick and she actually hasn't gone blind. I mean, that's a bit of a, a leap. Um, well, no, I'm seeing that she, she has massive other abilities being an artistic, not artistic, but be, have it in the arts in her is okay, there. All right. Alec Cassandra just, uh, you know, the woman from before said that 2018 mom's showing up. So does that make any sense to you? I don't know. No. Um, B Barbara says, thanks. I hope you're wrong. I can't afford any legal action. She was the one who- But it can go into small claims court. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, but oh, don't, 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 don't hide your head in the sand and go, oh, I can't afford legal actions. 
then it's gonna get it's gonna be bad. She needs no. to get into that confidence and say, you know what I mean. She needs to bring that into the universe. Okay, sorry, I was interrupting you there because I, I saw an, a, a comment here from Dawn. We were talking okay. about Dawn who can't see or whatever. Yeah. So, um, I, I'm not too sure she can't see. I think there may be a complication to that. But she goes, can you help me find the root cause? Now, the problem with this is, Dawn, uh, not to fob you off or anything, but this is the sort of thing you need to actually have a session with Debbie probably privately because uh, that kind of general, can you help me find the root cause of my problem? Can I? Not yes. Here. Am I a um, doctor? No. <laughs> but she's not, no, and I can confirm very readily that she's not a doctor. Uh, I've asked her a thousand questions. She doesn't know the answer. Uh, that diploma behind her, completely fake. But um, no, I work with a doctor. There, she works with a doctor. But so, so there are times when uh, some questions demand an in-depth thing, and you need to go. So go to psych But can I find the root cause of why everything is happening? Yes. Right. And why are you vibrationally allowing that to happen? vibrationally so say so, um uh psychicdebbie.com and uh speak to her that way contact her that way um brenda brenda thank you thank you brenda uh, brenda says thank you dawn says thank you uh amy says advocacy and writing for brain injury so it's the same thing she's so i think you've answered that one they are the yeah. same uh that's exactly what i am feeling amy says awesome so you got her right so the first one tonight really no uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were wrong about Jennifer, so obviously I'm just carrying it forward. I'm so right about Jennifer. I uh, love it. She's like a cat. I love it. Julie, this intellectual would both, cat. Julie, would both of you mind looking at my metaphysical path business within the next year? Well, the problem with that, Julie, is I, I don't do that sort of thing, but Debbie does. But you'd actually have to say, what are you on? What are you doing? What's your right. path? Or yeah, for our next show next Thursday... Send in a picture yeah. and do a handwriting analysis, yes. and I will answer that question to the if, full extent. If you would like to be on next week's show, any of you, and you want your, uh, you would like your handwriting done and Debbie to answer your questions in depth, not necessarily get it right, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but, I'll get it right. Oh, God, yeah, she does. I, it is truthful. This woman is amazing. But if you, uh, if you would like Debbie to do your thing next week in depth and you'd like me to do your handwriting, uh, private message me thing. Um, like on Facebook and I'll give you details of what to send and you can be on next week's show. How much fun would that be? Um, uh, so uh, uh, Laurie says, need, I need someone with outside the box thinking. Dina says, as well as healing work and teaching spiritual classes. I've lost track of what Dina's question was. Um, <laughs> JJ says, recently found my, this, we may have to wind this up soon. This is going forever. Yeah. JJ says, recently found my birth family. Are my sister Terry and I fully sisters? And is the man she was told is her dad, Robbie, her father? Shall I read that again? No, don't read it again. I don't know if I want to answer that because I know the answer of it and I don't know if they want to hear the answer. Well, she asked the question. I, I don't feel like they have the same father, and I, uh, and I, yeah. Are my sister Terry and I full sisters? And is the man she was told is her dad, Robbie, her father? And do they have a brother? Does one of them have a brother? Well, no. Is there a brother there? Because I feel like there's a brother, and I feel like the same father is not the same father. I don't think it's the same father. Maybe that's meaningful to her. Okay. Uh, Joanne says, thank you so much. I question everything and worry my craft and camper business won't be successful. What kinds of things can I do to change? Well, you no, need to ask that's that. another, that's, you can't do two questions ask for a reading. Yeah. Ask uh, other people. Uh, okay. Well, Otherwise we'll, we'll get going. To the end now. Um, uh, many brothers. Oh, JJ says many brothers. Same. Okay. So with many brothers with the two sisters, right? Uh, two sisters, many, and brothers, many brothers, yeah, two fathers or something. Yeah, oh, I'm seeing. Know, I could see a brother and a sister being, but I don't see the two sisters. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, Marsha says uh, I am an acupuncturist slash massage therapist. Will I work with a pro sports team or with animals? What? Okay, what? so she's an she's an acupuncture. Is that what you said? Acupuncturist and massage therapist. Well, that's okay. okay. I understand that bit. Well, I work with animals. Well, you could run off and join a circus. No, I, just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. So the reason I go like this, people, because people, you know, Cash was saying that too that I can't hear. I have to hear the uh, question through my ears 
And if you notice, I close my eyes or I look aside and I'm hearing if it's a lie or not a lie. Would you like the question so, again? So, uh, okay, so she was an acupuncturist. And an acupuncturist and massage therapist. Will I work with pro, a pro sports team uh, question or animals question? Okay, I'm seeing the animals more and I don't see the pro. I could see her being with a well-developed team, but not pro team. Okay. Not right now. It's, it, won't, it won't work right now. A couple of years from now, maybe, but now, no. I think she needs to focus on the animals and get the confidence going, and then if she chooses to do the pro. JJ, remember JJ with multiple sisters, multiple brothers, and multiple fathers? Okay. Uh, she wrote, Many fathers, we're sisters regardless. So even if she's not the real sister, she's still it's a sister. Right, exactly. But I, yeah, that's why they should see, how would I know that? That she had brother, and I'm seeing fa a different father, different, you know what I mean? So it's so like, you're a genius. <laughs> because uh, I'm good. Uh, Alakazander yeah, says, Debbie is good. You can see that in her face. <laughs> um, Dina says, how will, so Dina was the one who didn't ask the, the question before, the specific question. Um, Dina says, how will 2018 be in regards to my career, which is <laughs> psychic no, we, and medium? Okay, psychic medium for 2018? As well as Kind healing. of a vague question, but okay, how, what's her first name? Psychic Dina? Mila, how will 2018 be for her? She, her first name is Dina? Dina. D-E-N-A. I, 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 I see it going up, but not, I don't see the big bang for her yet. Oh, I see. So she'll be successful at some point. But she'll be successful, be but um, I get what she's saying. Kind of like me, it's like, I'm successful, but I want to be more successful. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm seeing that um, I see it growing, but it's not close to the peak of where she is desiring it to so go. It's a climb. It's a climb. It's a climb. It's going to be a slow climb, but it's a climb. Okay, good. We're done. I think we're, we're going to wrap this up now. So thank you to everybody who asked questions. Your darlings. We love you all. And uh, thank you. Marcia says, thank you. JJ says she's going to need a full reading soon. So that'll be good. Um, uh, you could see in her face. Yes. Okay, so no, Mystic Mornings. I have Mystic Mornings. Mystic around mornings. 11, between 11 and noon on Wednesdays. Yeah, and then cash the show at 6 p.m. on Thursday. You're doing Mystic Mornings on Wednesdays now. Yeah, I'm doing them on Wednesday because I'm going to, uh, every other week or every three weeks, I'm going to have uh, special people come and do a show kind of like this on Tuesday nights. Oh, I hope and it's then, not better than this because that would be terrible. What? I hope it's not better than this. It would be terrible if so. No, it won't be better. <laughs> and so I'm just going to have different, I'm just going to have different people talking. So my next, the next one I'm doing is I'm going to talk to a lady who um, her daughter had a brain tumor and mm. she took cannabis oil and the brain tumor is gone. It turns into crystals, apparently. Brain tumors under, under, with, ca uh, with cannabis oil, apparently it turns to crystals and it just breaks up and comes out. That's what so I heard. That's what we're going to talk about Whoa. on the 23rd. And then, um, but next Wednesday, I have my Mystic Mornings. And like I said, I was talking about Deja Vu. And that was a very nice topic. Um, next week, you'll be talking about Deja Vu again. <laughs> <laughs> and then Thursday, go, I think I've heard this before. Yeah. And Thursday is you and me, 6 o'clock. I have a bunch of YouTube videos. You want a reading with me? PsychicDebbie.com. PsychicDebbie.com. And also, if you want to be on the show next week, uh, private message me, yes. me, not her, but me. The and guy I, that's wrong, that guy. Uh, yeah, if you want an accurate reading, then obviously only only contact me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it, all right. <laughs> anyway, so everybody says thank you very much. Lisa says thank you both. Jody says great. Dawn says thank you, thank you, thank you. Brenda says thank you. Uh, Alex, Cassandra says awesome. Um, and great job, Debbie and uh, <laughs> thank you oh laurie says i may not watch next week why what we've spent all this time building up your co our confidence and your confidence and you'd actually abandon us um oh De brenda says can i have a reading on the show again if i had one last year that's up to you you're uh, the one that does the handwriting thing uh, we'll see we'll see i mean 
basically, if, if, if we have a, like another person who wants to come in, the, Dawn says, so funny, you two. I was being serious, Dawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, right. <laughs> but uh, basically, if we have enough people, we can't really have like somebody who's been done before it, replacing right. one of the people. We want to do still- some new, fresh people. And if we don't, then we will do you, Brenda. Yeah. And so the thing was like this, this Kathleen woman dropped out today because it was better that she drop out today. And the, and, and the universe was telling her, don't have it done. And she read that, I read that, and we didn't do it. So we, we actually could have used another person tonight, really. But that's okay. One person a week is fine, too. Do you know it's what I mean? absolutely fine. But, Brenda, that doesn't mean no. It doesn't mean no. All righty. So um, we're done, I think, right? Yeah. So I think everybody should have a fun weekend. Yes. I think you should watch our show done. continue. He's going to get his nails done. I'm going to Disneyland this weekend. My friend is really? bringing us to Disneyland again. Me and Roy. And her husband, so Disneyland, I'm going to hug Mickey. No. <laughs> God, the lines are too long at Disneyland, I can't bear it. <laughs> M-I-C-K-Y. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have one of those passes that gets you in first? No, she gets it because she works for Disney. Oh, good grief. Well, why don't you not invite me? I'd, I'm so much fun in theme parks. Yeah, uh-huh. I bet you are. I, go ra- I get very drunk and go around goosing um, all the uh, Disney characters. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, uh, yeah, so we're on next week. PsychicDebbie.com if you want a reading from, from Madam. Um, there's no, I'm not promoting anything. But if you want to be on the show next week, that's be absolutely great. Right. And I'll, we'll do the same way. We'll talk and do readings. And then I'll have one free questions. One free question. And then at the end, we'll have a bunch of free questions. Uh, although this went on way too long. <laughs> uh, but although the thing is, final thing. Uh, like and share, please, this video. Please like and share. Oh, it matters so much. Like Please, we need to have you like and share us. Plus, go to my Instagram, Psychic Debbie Griggs, again, together. Like and share that. My YouTube, Psychic Debbie Griggs. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Please Just like comment a lot. YouTube. And uh, Terry says, come to Disney World. I will. And Brenda has already liked and shared, and hopefully everybody will too. Um, Thanks, you guys. You know, Thank you. Debbie, switch us off, will you, please? I Debbie, will. All of this. See you later, Bye. alligator. Blessings already. Blessings and smiles. Blessings and smiles.